detention sucks. And boy, am I glad I never got a detention ever again after the first one I ever got. Hello everybody, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to be retelling you guys the story about how I got my first and only detention. So, this video was made two years ago, and like I said, this was also filmed using my webcam on my computer, and let me tell you, that is the worst quality ever. Um, I didn't have a camera at the time, and I my iPad had officially stopped working, which was so sad, and... I needed a camera, so the only thing I had at the time was my webcam. So I'm redoing this video just because that video was really, really bad quality. And if you want to see the video, I'll link it in the description box down below if you have not seen it. It is a very old video of mine that I made about two years ago when COVID first hit and I wasn't used to using a webcam. So <laughs> I'm going to get started. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it's better quality than my first video. And if you want to see the first one, you'll see the link in the description box down below. So here we go. So this began all about 15, about 15 years ago. I was a freshman in high school and at that time I was going to a local private school that did all the schoolwork on computers. So at this school I went to, we would have after school chores. I know that sounds kind of weird, but some, but what can you do? Every school has their own certain rules. But anyway, so we had certain chores we had to do, like we were assigned kind of like at the house. If you run a house or you live with a family in the house, you have to do chores to help around the house. So one of the chores, so we had to do certain chores, like either someone had to vacuum, someone had to dust, or someone had to do whatever they were assigned to. My chore was to empty all the garbage cans in the classrooms. So I think it it was a um it was a um Thursday I think that day and I was assigned to empty all the trashes in the classroom. So I go through each classroom in the building I was in. I only had to do one building in the classroom for um emptying the trashes and I grabbed a bunch of the garbage bags, put all the garbage bags in one bag that was full, full and each bag I had was full of garbage. And I put, <laughs> I pick it up and little did I know there was trash left all over the floor in the classroom. And I don't remember if I dropped it or if someone left garbage and I didn't see it. So I go and throw all the trash away and then I put a bag in in each trash can. So I think my chore is finished and then I go home and ride with whoever picked me up. I think my mom's friend picked me up or was it my, um, oh no, it was my carpool for one of my one of my schoolmates I went to school with that I knew from a speech class in middle school. So anyway, wait, the, um, because it was the very, no, actually, sorry, I'm confused. So because it was a, I think Thursday that day, the very next day, I run into my history teacher and he tells me, Mina, you have a detention and I'm
I'm a little confused, and I, so I'm confused. I'm like, what did I do to get detention? You didn't finish your chore, and you left trash on the floor. Oh, wow, that rhymed. I didn't even remember. Wow, that rhymed. Am I writing a poem? No, I'm not. Anyway, um, I thought I'd just add that in for a laugh. Anyway, so my... Like, you have a detention, Mina. Uh, Mina. I was like, what did I do? He's like, you left trash on the floor and you didn't finish your chore. Uh, I was like, oh. So, you have a lunch detention for 15 minutes. And... It was my birthday that day, so I did make a joke saying, oh, I got a de gift from my teacher saying I got a detention for my birthday. <laughs> birthday, and I thought I'd just add that in for a little laugh. laugh, And that made my teacher laugh, but I still had to go to the detention. So because it was a Friday that day, the following Monday, I go to the classroom I have my 15-minute lunch detention in, and I sit in the classroom for 15 minutes and I don't do anything. Excuse me? And I don't do anything. Anything. And my, and that was like the role of lunch detention is you were supposed to sit in the classroom quietly and not do anything. You couldn't even eat your lunch for 15 minutes, but I think we had like a half an hour for lunch. I can't remember how much time we had for lunch, but I got, I sat in there for 15 minutes with I think three or four other people. And it felt kind of weird because I had never been in a de detention before. So I didn't know how detention worked. Work. So I sat in, sat in there for 15 minutes and do nothing because that's how detention happens. And nobody talks, nobody does anything. We just sit there quietly. So after the lunch detention was over, I apologized to my teacher for not finishing my job. And he was like, like that's okay. Just make sure next time you check for trash before you leave before you not finish your job or something, blah, 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 blah. And I said, okay, so that did teach me a lesson to pretty much finish my chore at school before leaving. So the next time I had my, I had my um, chore after school, I made sure I finished it and double checked the classroom to make sure it was clean and picked up all the trash on the floor. So the moral of the story is, it sucks when you get detention because it is very boring, but it does teach you a lesson to right your wrong and not to do the thing you did wrong again. Again, and sometimes we get detentions for for things we for things we hate or little things, but the detention is to teach us lessons not to do those things again. And so, so to avoid getting detention, make sure you follow the school rules, like whether you have to follow a dress code or you have to follow the lunch rules or follow the rules not to be loud in the hallway, right? Or just basically just whatever, just follow the rules at school so you don't get in trouble and get detention because nobody wants to be in detention because detention is very, very, very boring. Trust me, you sit there for a while and you have nothing to do. You're not allowed to draw, be on your phone or do homework or do anything. You just have to sit quietly and it is very, very boring when you have to sit there for like 15 minutes or so, but it does go by sometimes super quickly, depending on how you handle it, handle it. So to avoid detention, make sure you follow the rules at your school so then you don't get in trouble. So trouble. So keep in mind, follow whatever rules the school has, even if you don't like the rules, it's just important to follow them. Not that I didn't like the rules or anything, but just 
fo always follow the rules. Okay, so that was a retelling of how, about how I got my first detention at school. Again, if you didn't see the first video, I'll leave the link in the description box down below if you didn't see that. And feel free to watch that one first if you want to, and then go back to this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon.